ladies and gents, my name is Raven Hewlett. I'm a registered nurse and I will be performing an assessment on your peripheral vascular system today, which are your arms and legs. I will also be performing an assessment on your femoral pulse and assess for an any inguinal lymph nodes you may have. We will first start with your arms. Would you like to stay standing up for that assessment? Sure. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions or concerns before we get started? No ma'am. Okay. First, I'm going to assess your arms from your elbows to your fingertips. I'm going to note the color, any redness or blueness in the fingertips, making sure both extremities have the normal skin tone. Next, I will assess for shape and size, having the same shape and size in both extremities, not noting any edema or swelling. Next, I will look for hair distribution on both extremities. And I will also feel for warmth in your skin, noting, not noting any coolness, which would mean arterial insufficiency. Next, Mr. Jones, I'm gonna assess your radial pulse, okay, which is on your thumb side Note that your pulse is normal, no bounding, nor is it absent. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm now going to assess your ulnar pulses. And these are a little bit more difficult in the healthy human. All right, Mr. Jones, I will now perform an Allen test on you. I will ask you to make a fist. I will place pressure with my thumb on both the radial and ulnar artery. I will ask you to release your fist and I will release my thumb on the ulnar artery, watching for blood supply to come back in three to five seconds, okay? And I will do that for the radial, radial artery right now. Release your fist. Very good. Perform it on your left. Release your fist. Very good. One more time. Okay, now I'm going to assess your capillary refill. I'm going to press on your fingertips, noting blood return to your fingertips in two or less seconds. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm going to assess your brachial artery in your antecubital space. These are also a little bit more difficult to find. I will now assess for any lymph nodes that you have between your bicep and tricep muscles. If you have any lymph nodes, you need to note the size, mobility, if you have any tenderness in your arms. Okay. We'll perform on this one. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm gonna have you lay back and we're going to assess your legs. I'll give you this pillow for comfort. Okay. All right. And same with thing with your arms. I'm going to assess from your groin to your toes. I'm going to look for size and shape. Make sure no edema or swelling. I'm also going to note for any pitting edema by Pressing firmly to your skin with my fingertips, noting any indentions, okay? Mm -hmm. Next, I will inspect your skin color, make sure we have a normal skin tone, no blueness around the toes, no redness around the ankles, no lesions, ulcers in the toes, bony promises, or heels, or ankles, okay? Next, I'm going to look at hair distribution, making sure no... Uh, bald spots that could relate to arterial insufficiency. Next, I'm going to assess your skin warmth. Both legs should be warm to touch bilaterally. No coolness noted. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm now going to assess your femoral artery. I'm going to need you to bend your knee and rotate it outward. I'm going to assess below and medial to the inguinal ligament. I'm going to press firmly 
and then I'll slowly release, noting the pulse. Okay, I'm gonna perform this on the other side. Same thing, flex the knee, rotate it outward, firmly press, and release until I note the artery. Okay, Mr. Jones, now I'm gonna ask for any lymph nodes in your medial thigh, okay? Same thing, we need to know if any mobility, any tenderness, size of those lymph nodes are a problem. Okay, next I'm gonna assess your popliteal artery. I'm gonna put some pressure behind in the bend of your knee, feeling palpating for your artery, for your pulse. Okay, and I'm gonna perform on the other extremity. Okay, Mr. Jones, now it's time to assess your dorsalis pedis pulses, which is gonna be, I'm gonna feel between, along the extensor tendon of your big toe. I'm gonna palpate them at both times to compare the amplitudes of both pulses. And I'm actually going to Darcy flex your feet. Okay, very good. Now, Mr. Jones, I'm going to assess your posterior tibial pulses, which are located below your medial malleolus bone. I will assess it both at one time to compare amplitude. Okay, Mr. Jones, now I'm going to assess for our home sign. I'm going to ask you to bend your knee, Darcy flex your foot, and note any calf pain or tenderness that would indicate a DVT. No? Okay. Do the same. Any pain or tenderness? Okay. All right, Mr. Jones. I'm gonna ask you to stand up so I can see any thrombophlebitis or varicocitis. Standing up makes your veins more prominent, okay? okay. So I wanna note if you have any blueness, bulginess, redness in your veins. Can you please turn? Okay, Mr. Jones, you can have a seat. This concludes my assessment. I hope I was very informative with my assessment today. And you will now be able to note any abnormalities in your uh, peripheral vascular system. Hope you have a great day and um, good luck. Thank you.